So today we're doing a beautiful POV drive of this stunning Mercedes-Benz CLA 220D in mahogany silver. This is the new shape AMG line Premium Plus. ridiculous spec and color so you've got ambient lighting on the inside hey mercedes how may i help you change color to yellow okay i'm changing the color Dang. hey mercedes how may I help you? Change colour back to purple. Okay, maybe that doesn't work. What can I do for you? Doesn't matter. 360 camera. Sick. Sick, sick. Got the multifunctional steering wheel. Obviously, we've got the digital dash, which shows us everything. We've got the dynamic select button down here. Got eco, comfort, sport, individual. Let's start in comfort. And the paddle, sh paddle shifter here on the right hand side. So, let's go for a little drive. This is like the worst thing to have to go through straight away, isn't it? Uh, you got a proper 360 camera. So the car is very smooth, you know? Mm. Very smooth. But it feels like on the bumps. Though. Yeah, you have to, innit? I didn't realise that first. Man. It's very, very low, innit? Yeah, yeah, you have to. That's the only thing I love about the C-Class, you know? Is you know the C-Class, I can just... Really? I just blow over humps, bro, like 40, 50, it doesn't matter. For some reason, it hits, it just, just eats them. Something that I love about this, yeah, which I can see instantly is different to the A-Class that I had, yeah, is the throttle response. Really? Full response is quite good Even in this. On comfort, yeah. yeah, this is comfort, isn't it? Yeah. But it's quite good. Yeah, that's nice. So I think it might be the new diesel. Mm. Obviously, um, this is a two litre. In my A class, it was a 2.1. Mm. Um, so this is actually a smaller engine, but the A class was about 7.8 seconds to 60. Mm. This is 7.1. Okay, so this yeah, is actually yeah. quicker, despite the fact that the engine is smaller. Mm. So I assume they've probably got a turbo in here or somewhere. Back on. Right. Cool. So of course you've got the memory foam seats here as well. Let's see what happens when we go into sport. It's pushing though, man. I like it. It's pushing, isn't it? Yeah, it's, it's pushing still. <laughs> I like it. I like it. Huh? Go on, there, go for it, bro. Go on, pop it. The paddle yeah. shifters, paddle shifters are essential. Man. <laughs> but what I like, I like how we've got the screen here in front of us. Let me see, how do I, how do I make the screen bigger? Um, what one do you want to go into? The uh, press home. Home, yeah. 
Yeah, there you go. You can pit wherever you want. So let's see styles and displays. Yeah, let's do this. Let's go sport. What does that look like? Ah, okay, yeah. cool. Oh, sick. Yeah, you can change each one. Oh, okay, cool, sick. So we can actually have this here. G-Force meter, you know, oh my days. So I don't know if you look, can see down here, we've got the G-Force that we've just put on, which is superb. Let's let's use G-Force on this side. Where's G-Force? It just shows you the gravitational pull. G-Force just shows you your gravitational pull. So inside it's very comfy. You see we've got the pan roof up here as well. Let's open that up. And that. This feels very good. I'd say that I really do like the photo response. I think the steering on this is, is lovely. The steering wheel is beautiful, but it's that is quite similar already to how the, the A-Class was, do you know what I mean? Um, the flat bottom steering wheel, I love the flat bottom steering wheel. I think it makes such a difference. Um, but what makes a big difference for me in this car is the photo response. Especially when you take into account it's the exact same as the A class, it feels a lot better. The steering is good. Excellent. And the brakes are good as well. You don't brake like that. <laughs> yeah, it's, very, it's actually a fast car. But it's low, the suspension is low. You could just feel that, innit? The suspension is low, that's the only thing that it's a bit of an annoying thing with this car. You have to proper slow down. You have to proper slow it down for any humps, any humps that we may have. Infotainment system. Info. So obviously it's touch screen up here. Let's see, what's this do? So I went up here and turned around, let's see. Okay, so we've got some real engines, that's their engine output and engine torque, which is probably more useful in an AMG, but you know, it's nice. And you've got our reverse camera here, which is great. You had the camera in the front as well, don't you? Yeah. How do you get that off? I don't even know. It only comes up like when I stop <laughs> at, um, it only comes up, you know, when I stop at red lights. Oh, is it? Yeah, that's the only time I ever see it. I don't ever see it other than that. You don't have to turn it on? No. That's mad. <laughs> Something, I've never seen that, you know, yeah. in the CLA. 